Well, hello again, it's Steve Ritchie. Um, yeah, back after a long summer season. Um, <clears throat> certainly require a little tidy up. Got a lot of sculpture that's cleaned up and uh, polished up. Um, didn't sell a massive amount doing the circuit this year, but uh, did manage to get myself on television. So, in March, um, sometime, I shall be on the BBC which I can't tell you anything about it unfortunately all I can do is prepare for it so there's lots of things to do starting with clearing this rubbish up okay see you later oh by the way thank you very very much for your support and that means everybody not just the Facebook book team if you like but everybody else that's really been involved in my life and trying to get this thing kicked off uh, I am starting to produce some um, a nice work and I hope to continue making some nice work for the rest of my life so for all those that have helped up to now thank you very much i might need you out for a bit longer but you know i'm good for it so see you around thank you opposition and uh, highly skilled people in their own right in their own fields and uh, we were ready at this point to actually um, present our pitches to the general public and obviously to the uh, potential customers as you know this is what I made and what I plan to do is take you through the uh, creative process of doing that um, all the various places I'd managed to get advice from and I had a little chat with uh, this old fella and uh, he basically told me to uh, get on with it and uh, so I did um, getting ready for the BBC was obviously cleaning up my studio coming up with a creation like I say you know what I actually produced but how did I get to this point what on earth was I doing beforehand before I started messing about making stuff like this well my background's in light engineering <clears throat> I was uh, trained by the MOD I um, um, ran my own light engineering company, uh, servicing and coming up with various things. And in my part time, I made sculpture. Now, sometimes I was full time making it and sometimes I wasn't. It overlapped. So started very humbly with making guitars at 14 and 15. And as you can see, I've kind of moved into bigger things. And it was these things that attracted the better marketplaces. And um, I've perfected the art of drawing with a MIG welder, uh, basically. And it is quite different it's quite unique um, and yeah so I was get, now getting ready to work ready for the program they wanted five pieces and a pitch so these were the five pieces I use my make my own right hand and an, an organic piece that I call Triffy <clears throat> Boris which is a um, self sculpture I suppose a self portrait of myself Holly, which was a commission that I borrowed, and my fancy steel artwork, Dragon. So uh, that's something I do a bit of fancy artwork and I do dragons and things, as you already know. So they were going to be my five pieces. Uh, I do plan, obviously, to show some uh, uh, spin off films, which you can find same. So back to the old commission. So I'm looking around the house. I'm not going to show you lots of uh, pictures of the house. I saw the same things you did. These were the areas that I seem to be drawn to. Drawn to outside because it didn't have a lot of stuff outside. I'm seeing seahorses. I've seen octopuses. I didn't want to move any work from inside the house. You know, because to produce a piece of work on the inside, you almost had to get something out of the way. But I was very drawn to this post. Very drawn to this post. And there's that view from the window with all the octopuses and the lamps and things. And that's what you can see. I can see in the distance my bent pole. Also to be seen from the kitchen as well and uh, this is its secondary view that's the little post close up it's got a break in it that could be repaired and i think any type of sculpture that i particularly want to attach um, on that post i could also make at the same angle and use as a bit of a handrail on this very slippery decking so i reproduced the post in the workshop so that gave me a good head start exactly what i'm going to design and i put a seat exactly where they would be sat to see it so i know what their view is and now I started doodling. Now the old underwater octopus thing fascinated me because an octopus has got um, eight limbs. 
And if I'm trying to tell a bit of a story, which I'd plan to, and have some action going on, I thought the uh, options of having um, eight limbs was my first thought. And that's my first thought of what I thought an octopus looked like. I refined this drawing somewhat as I actually did start to do my research a little bit properly. And uh, oh, the other one on there was was um, seahorses, obviously. So again, a first stab without actually doing any research. What's from my memory? And obviously, a gathering and a collecting of whatever scrap and bits that I've got left over from jobs or whatever I've got. You know, I've done a bit of um, uh, searching around the area. I did find a hook. Um, it was a mile inland. I must be honest. The the beach was bare. <laughs> But uh, there was some chain there that I had. I know that came from that region. I think that was more Favisham way, but uh, that was sort of two years before. But that's what I do. I'm always looking for materials. And this is the thing with a job like this. You've got to understand that uh, I'm trying to design something here that if someone did go into a, a metalsmith shop and asked, can you make one of these octopuses at this price? Um, yes, he could. An octopus. The other bits that are going on, the materials were free. Well, my pastime is to go out and look for scrap all the time. It's not everybody's pastime to do that. So for them to stop, find things and boom. So expect to pay more. Um, I was fighting to, with the budget. I went up a wrong line. I attempted to produce a fishy, which didn't really work and was eating into the budget too much. So I stopped doing that and decided to develop this seahorse thing a little bit more. And I'd got a bit of a shape going, so that was quite good. And uh, yeah, I started looking at the octopus in a bit more detail as well. How long is it going to take me to make a limb? And uh, can I do this efficiently and quickly enough that other people like myself could make one at a reasonable price? So that's what I'm on. Truth is, a 750 budget would have been eaten up on just designing a thing like this if I was designing this for a customer. But of course, I'm trying to design things that could be three foot off the ground or could be 60 foot off the ground. It's the same design. So here I am. I'm, I'm neglecting the fact that uh, <clears throat> I've used up the design fee, but I'm now looking at the manufacturing fee, the actual time it takes me to create this wonderful things. Seahorses, little seahorse like that, 50 or 60 quid per seahorse. Yeah, it's doable. In the budget, just about. Might even get three in it. Looked at other finishes. So the dragon that you've just seen there was zinc plated. That was knocking about anyway. So that was all part of my research. I was going to do it anyway. And of course, I've done pictures in the past, uh, corporate type pitches, so suit and tie jobs. And um, I wanted to sell slightly differently this time. And I wanted to sell things with my partner. And uh, this is Susanna Young. And I wouldn't have got where I am now without this lady. It was her that first answered the uh, call of home is where the art is. And we sat up till three o'clock in the morning filling in the forms. And um, yeah, not only do I love it a bit, we, we do this and have a bit of fun at it as well. It's been really quite enjoyable. So back to the brief. So that was my brief. I've got a bit of a pitch going. I've got my five pieces cleaned up. I think I've ticked most of the bits in the brief. Well, look, now it's a case of how do I um, actually do my brief? Am I going to be pictures? Am I going to be, you know, drawings, little bits of steel? I've got my five pieces behind me so I can hint at things there. Um, so, no, I'm just going to do it verbally. I've got hands. I can describe with my hands. Truth is, I haven't finished designing it. It's just the concept of the design they've got at the moment. If this was for a normal client, I'd probably supply them an awful lot more drawings and things, especially for a bigger budget. You would supply quite a lot. But in this particular case, a 750 budget, I'm hoping they're going to take my word for it that it's going to look something like this, this or this, you know. So there's got to be a little bit of blind faith when you're taking on a job, just sometimes, you know. Um, so you know what I produced and in later films I'll be showing you how I actually produced this thing and uh, yeah I'll be taking you through making it I'll be explaining the relationship between me and Dawn and where that's going um, what did happen to Holly and where where is it now uh, as you can <laughs> see I'd like you to point out that there are other people in my life that have helped me along here uh, including my uh, stepdaughter and uh, boyfriend and she's a little star my um, um, a brother from another mother, uh, a very good friend of mine, is living out in Spain. Yeah, as you gather. You know, it's nice to put one in there. He's a bit old, really, isn't he? And, of course, what happened to Fishy? Anyway, thanks very much for listening. 
Um, I'll be doing spin-off films, which you will find about how I made some of the items, and I'm producing films all the time. You can only see this on the internet with me at the moment, but good luck. Thanks for listening. Have a nice. Stay safe.